It just depends, okay? I describe these methods um, to people as a toolbox, okay? Um, and that you, you, you have various tools um, to do various things with, um, like uh, I give the analogy of if you're trying to put a screw in a wall, okay, you could use a hammer, but that's not very efficient, right? Because it's a screw, you're supposed to, you know, you're supposed to use the thread, so a hammer's not going to be very efficient. Uh, you could use a screwdriver, but it's going to take you a while. But if you have a drill, that's going to be the most efficient way to do that. Same thing happens here. You could use any of these techniques to solve these systems. It's just based on what you've got, different methods are going to be more efficient. Okay, different methods are going to be more efficient. So, if we look at number 51, okay, um, we could solve this using substitution. If I had to solve this using substitution, um, I would probably solve the first equation for y um, and substitute it into the other one. However, this is set up perfectly for what we call elimination. Now, elimination is what its name says. We are going to eliminate one of our variables, okay? And with the way this is set up, we are going to eliminate y, and this is how we're going to do it. We're just going to add the two equations together, and look at what happens when we add the two equations together. Negative 10x plus 3 is negative 7x. 5y plus negative 5y is 0y. y is eliminated. 30 plus 12 is 42. Well, looky here, we now have a one-step linear equation. Divide by negative 7 x is equal to negative 6. To find y, we pick one of the other two equations. I usually try to pick the one that has the least number of uh, negatives in it and the one with the smallest numbers. So given this choice, I'm going to plug it into the second one. Um, 3 times negative 6 minus 5y equals 12. So that's negative 18 minus 5y equals 12. Add the 18, negative 5y equals 30. So in this case, y is also negative 6. And again, it's an equation. You can plug those answers back into the original. Okay. Now, that one was set up perfectly for elimination. Let's look at number 60. This is the last one we're going to do today. Well, let's look at number 60. It's really, really close. However, we have to do one thing to this. Okay, we have to do one thing to this one. Um, obviously, you can see that y, both coefficients are negative 5. So we can't just add our two equations together because if we do, negative 5 plus negative 5 is negative 10. Well, you can manipulate these equations. So I'm going to multiply one of these equations by negative 1. So I can change my signs. Top one, okay, sounds good to me. Doesn't really matter, okay? Now, the thing you have to remember is not only do you multiply the left side, but you have to multiply the right side. And that's where most people make their mistakes is they forget to multiply the right side by whatever they multiplied that equation by. I'm going to leave the other one alone because now I can add them. My Y is going to be eliminated. I can solve for x. x is negative 4. Um, I'm going to plug it into the first one. You could plug it into the second one. It would work just as well. 16 minus 5y equals 6. So negative 5y is negative 10. So y is 2. Negative 4, 2 is your answer. Okay. So we will pick up tomorrow.